After a very long night editing, I have my do not make eye contact with me sunglasses on and I am back on the side roads to retrace a route I first made years ago. Look for the sign on Highway 17 about 20 minutes outside of Savannah and while there are more than a few tiny churches across the U.S. claiming to be the smallest, that is not the point. What makes this petite prayer box so special has nothing to do with the square footage. It has everything to do with why it was built and what you will find inside. In 1949, Miss Agnes Harper was working at a grocery when she had an idea. Seeing the weary, road-worn travelers heading up and down I-95, she wanted to build them a sanctuary to rest their tired eyes and have somewhere safe and quiet to meditate. Miss Harper built her tiny babe cave with stained glass windows imported from England. Over time, a countless number of visitors have sat in these 12 chairs, and they started leaving letters. The first time I ever came here, the walls were this thick with all these notes and pictures and letters to God and I spent at least an hour in here just staring at the walls and reading all the messages. Some of them were really happy expressing gratitude and some of them were so sad and some of them were kind of funny like people wanting to get paid for work they had done um, but it was just just this really profound hour in here and when I walked back in the messages are gone and I thought oh my gosh <laughs> just like the coffee shop right like where where are all the notes and uh, some of the people coming in and out of the church told me that the new roof that i'm looking at is reflective of the fact that in 2015 somebody set the smallest church in america on fire and everything burned with it luckily a new collection of notes has formed in the notebook up on the altar and there are some beautiful messages to heaven in here before leaving, I dropped a line to my three G's, God, Gigi, and Granny. After the arson, donations filled up the church's coffers and the 190 square foot building was put back together. I was certainly sad that the years of handwritten prayers had disappeared, but the very fact that they're gone is also a good reminder. Nothing is permanent in this world, and nothing is truly appreciated until we realize it's gone for good. I can't bring those letters back, but I will never forget what they said. So ultimately, it wasn't the physical piece of paper that mattered. It was experiencing the messages on them, which is why time is the best currency that we have. It's the only barter system that buys you memories like these.